Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit Active 2 Round Edition and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications uh, for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your Android phone on your watch. First, uh, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Zep application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the Zep application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app, you should see the home page. Now tap on device icon, and on the device page, you should see your active tool, MSFit Active Tool. Now scroll through this page and look for the option called notifications and reminders. Once you find it, tap on it. And here we can tap on notifications. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed for the notifications to work, you will see this pop up about the permissions. You need to tap on it, tap on OK, and allow the required permission. And then we can turn on the notifications by tapping on the switch. We have incoming SMS and incoming uh, or other phone applications. And if you enable the phone applications, it will open the list of apps on your phone. You can scroll through it and enable and disable the notifications for specific applications on your phone. And how it works is basically if you enable the notifications, let's say for Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord on your phone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. If it's disabled, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will see it only on your phone. Okay. Uh, you can also, I believe, do something for calls. So if we go back to the device page, and we can tap on device settings. And here we have offline voice control, no. Looks like we don't have anything for calls any, uh, anymore. At least it was there some at some point in the app, but I don't see it anymore. Yeah, it's not here. So never mind about that. We have only the um, notifications for SMS and apps. What if we tap on phone app? All right. So yeah, sorry, my bad. So we can enable the notifications for calls and for the uh, uh, calls through Bluetooth. So basically. Uh, you will be able to control the calls on your phone with your watch and you can do it by tapping on the phone application under the device application settings and then you will need to allow the required permissions right here. There's quite a few and once you enable the permissions you can turn on the uh, features to receive call notifications from your phone and you can tap on uh, incoming calls uh, okay, and Bluetooth calls. So basically, incoming calls only enables the notifications uh, for the incoming calls on your watch. So you will see the notifications on your phone, rather on your watch. But uh, the second option, Bluetooth calls, allows you to answer or hang up calls uh, via uh, Bluetooth. So basically, you will see the notification about the call, but also you will be able to answer it or uh, uh, decline it and stuff like that. Okay, and you have some more options like set delays for the uh, for the notification. You can enable it and then set the delay to something you like. And then we have the auto SMS reply. You can enable it or disable it. And then you can edit the messages you can use. You can add new messages. Okay. Mm. You can also enable the access to contacts. If you enable it, you will see the name of the contacts if the call you're receiving is from the contact list. Uh, and you can enable it and then uh, tap on update contacts to enable the list. And you can also add the contacts to top contact list. And uh, I believe what it does, it's um, basically since it, uh, you have like a list of regular contacts that call you and you can keep them, I believe, without um, syncing with the watch. Okay, uh, and that's about it. So now it should be working. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord and we'll see We'll see if it's working. Okay. And we have the notification on our phone. 
And if you wake up the screen on your watch, it should be also here. Here we have it. And you can answer and stuff like that. Uh, I believe if you swipe up on the home screen, it also opens the notification panel and that notification will be here as you can see. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video. Thank you.